Okay, so what does this mean in algebra? Well, of course, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, pre-calc, this doesn't make a difference. You absolutely need to be able to recognize what this means. And let's go ahead and say this. This is f of g of x. And what we're gonna be talking about is exactly what this is, and more importantly, how to find this. Well, the topic that we're talking about here, the biggest topic or the overarching topic is functions, okay? So when you study functions in algebra, and this is a huge, huge, huge topic, I can't overstate the importance of functions, you need to know a lot about functions. Now, here we're dealing with two functions, an f function or an f of x function, and another function, a g of x functions. Now, I have actual functions here that we're going to use as an example to cover what we're talking about, which, of course, is composite functions. But when you have two or more um, functions, you can do all sorts of things, all sorts of function operations. You can add, subtract, multiply, and, of course, do this, which is called a composite function. This uh, seems to um, confuse a lot of students who are taking um, algebra. So if you are struggling a bit with composite functions, uh, you're not alone, but let's go ahead and make it very easy for you to understand this, and that's going to be the objective of this little video. But uh, before we go going, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and if you're struggling in math, I'm telling you right now, don't give up. What you need to be successful in math is great math instruction, clear understandable and comprehensive so you need more than just quick little youtube videos or short tutorials you need full instruction and that's where i can help you out so if you're at the middle school high school or college level check out my math help program you can find a link to it in the description of this video i promise you it will help you out also if you happen to be preparing for some sort of test with the math section things like the sat act ged asvab maybe a teacher certification exam i have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out also, if you're a homeschooler, I have excellent middle and high school math courses that you might want to explore. By the way, if you need a pair of math notes, if your notes aren't up to speed, and this is a common weak area for those of you that are struggling to math, I'm going to leave a link or links to my um, notes, various notes, in the description of this video as well. And if this little video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that helps me out big time. Okay, so let's get into composite functions and... Again, we need some actual functions to uh, do a problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at this example here. So here I have an f function, an f of x function. This is just the name of a function. And here's my variable x. And I have another function over here. Uh, its name is g. Okay, so this is the g of x function. So g of x is equal to x plus 1. And the f of x function is equal to 2x squared plus x. So you're um, asked to find f of g of x. Again, this is what we call a composite function. You absolutely need to know how to do this in algebra. And a lot of students get confused on this. They kind of do this. They're like, hmm, I always mess this up because this is, you know, confusing. Well, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't have to be confusing at all. Now, uh, I just kind of want to see where you're currently at. If you want to kind of check um, your current understanding of this, go ahead and compute um, f of g of x or calculate this out. It'll probably take it about, oh, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. So if you want to pause the video and do that, I would suggest you go ahead and check your understanding. But I'm going to get into the solution now. Okay, so before we actually um, compute the composite function here, f of g of x, again, we have two functions here, the f function and the g function. Let's just... Uh, talk about what we're doing big picture. Well, uh, a composite function is basically uh, we're evaluating the f function with the g function. But let's just review what it means just to evaluate a function with any particular value. So let's take the f of x function here. If I wanted to find f of 3, okay, so let's say it, uh, you were asked to find f of 3, what does that mean? Well, it means that you're going to replace all the x's here, which here is an x and here's an x, you're going to replace that x with a 3. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and simplify. So instead of 2x squared, we're going to have 2, 3 squared, plus, or 2 times 3 squared, excuse me, plus 3. So we're replacing the variable x with the 3. And now we're going to go ahead and just use our order of operations. 
and diligently simplify this. Now we have 3 squared, of course, is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus this 3 is 21. So f of 3 is 21. So before you can understand how to work with composite functions, you need to um, obviously know how to evaluate a function because what we're doing here, f of g of x, is instead of plugging in a number, let me go ahead and write this a little better, instead of plugging in a number like 3 into the f function, I'm going to erase this so we can see this a little bit clearly, clearly, not clearly, clearly. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, instead of plugging in 3 into the f function, we're going to be plugging in the g of x function. Okay, so but what does this mean? This notation is confusing. Well, instead of uh, this symbol here, g of x is the same thing as x plus 1. Okay, so really f of g of x is finding the function f of x plus 1. One. Okay, what does that mean? Well, again, anytime you are evaluating a function, whatever you plug in right here, you're going to replace these x's with whatever you plug in uh, for what you're trying to evaluate. In this case, it's going to be x plus 1, and then we're going to simplify. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how that works right now. Okay, so here we go. So f of, uh, f of x is equal to 2x squared plus x g of x is equal to x plus 1. Okay, let's find f of g of x, meaning I'm going to plug in the g of x function, okay, into the f function. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to replace it with the g of x. But that g of x, I'm not going to use this, this thing. I'm going to use x plus 1 because x plus 1 is equal to g, uh, g of x. So I'm using x plus 1, not g of x. So this x right here, I'm going to replace with an x plus 1. And this x I'm going to replace with an x plus 1. So that's going to look like this. Okay, f of g of x is effectively finding f of x plus 1. So that's going to be equal to 2 times x plus 1 squared. Okay, again, right here, this x I'm replacing with x plus 1. And then I'm going to put a plus sign. And then we have to add in another x plus 1. So this here matches, okay, this setup up here. Okay? All right, so... The first and most important thing when you're trying to figure out composite functions is just understanding the setup. So if you're like, okay, now I understand. And really you wouldn't put f of x plus 1 there. You would write, technically you would write f of g of x. But I did that kind of to explicitly uh, you know, show you that g of x, what we're plugging in, is uh, x plus 1. Because we're saying that g of x is equal to x plus 1. So x plus 1 is the same thing as g of x. g of x is the same thing as x plus 1. So this notation, this is how you would write this actually in your work. Okay, so at this point... Uh, what you have to do is use your awesome algebra skills to simplify this. So let's go ahead and do this now. So we have 2 times x plus 1 squared. Of course, we have to do powers before we do multiplication. So I would suggest using brackets. So just write it out this way. 2 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. That means x plus 1 squared plus this x plus 1 right here. Okay, so always write your work step by step, uh, step by step. It will help you, um, you know, avoid making any errors. So let's go ahead and do this multiplication here. x plus 1 times x plus 1 is going to be x squared plus x plus x plus 1. I'm just using a FOIL technique there. So we're going to multiply uh, 2 by all of this. So let's go ahead and combine like terms. So this is x and x. That's 2x. So we're going to have 2 times x squared plus 2x plus this plus that 1. And again, let's not forget this x plus 1 over there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the distributor property and multiply 2 by all this stuff inside the brackets. So 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times 2x is 4x. And then 2 times this 1 is 2 plus this x plus that 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms. Of course, you're going to write this thing in standard form, highest to lowest power. So 2x squared, there is no other 2x or there's no other x squared term. So we... Our first term is going to be 2x squared because it's the highest power of x. But we have a 4x and an x here, or 1x, so that will give us 5x. And then a 2 and a 1 that gives us 3. So this is our final answer right there. f of g of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Okay, how did you do? Did you get this right? And you just kind of want to check your work. Well, if you got this right, I must go ahead and give you a lovely happy face. An A++, a 135%. 
And uh, let's give you some extra stars here so you can have an awesome uh, day. Uh, I will say that most students uh, get confused with composite functions when they're first learning about functions. Okay, so it's normal to, uh, you know, struggle with this a bit. But I can tell you right now, you're not going to um, avoid composite functions. Matter of fact, composite functions are everywhere uh, in the study of algebra. Okay, you're going to see it over and over, especially when you're dealing with um, topics like finding the inverse function. So you're just going to have to know how to work with functions. Again, functions, a huge, huge topic. And uh, if you need additional help with functions, I'm going to suggest a couple things here. One, probably at this level, you really get into this at the algebra one uh, level and course algebra two. So I would definitely recommend my algebra one and or algebra two course, uh, all depending on what level you're at. My pre-algebra course, you typically don't get into composite functions in pre-algebra. So I wouldn't suggest that. I would uh, suggest at least algebra one. Also, I do have additional videos on my YouTube channel about functions. So you can check that out as well. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.